All right. My buddy Matthew Moore has been a busy little bee lately. He has just put together two brand new spins uh, based on Ubuntu. We've got Zubuntu and Ubuntu Remix right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's get started. First, we are looking at the Matthew Moore respin of Zubuntu. And uh, very much like his Manharo remix, this looks very similar in many different ways. Um, first, uh, you have a, a panel at the top of the screen where you have quick launches to many of the applications that you're going to uh, be using on this. You also have Conky, which is displaying your time on screen with the inclusion of every Conky he could find with the Conky Manager. I'm not going to really go into detail on this because he covers this in his own release announcement video. And if you're interested in trying this out, I highly suggest you check out his videos on these projects that he's put together. And uh, he'll explain it to you himself. Uh, the one thing I want to note is that the Zubuntu Remix does not um, have VirtualBox editions installed by default. So if you want to test this in a virtual machine before actually uh, installing it on real hardware, you're going to need to install guest editions first. Uh, Matthew went with the understanding that it already supported it already, and it doesn't. Just so you know, I, I know Matthew doesn't have the ability to uh, do uh, virtualization. Lower right corner of the screen, you got uh, a... Uh, clock where you click on it you get the calendar or battery indicator volume control email and of course your network connectivity and then on the lower left you have the menu which is the beautiful whisker menu this is using the same theme or pretty close to the same theme that uh the manharo cup of linux edition uses this has blue fear but it's not themed the way uh, i themed it myself and this also appears to have the elementary icon set, which also is in my distribution. See, Matthew, I knew you were going to take some stuff out of my distro. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we're all here to share stuff. In accessories, you get all the utilities necessary uh, for uh, doing all kinds of cool stuff with your system. Built-in archive manager. Uh, you got the file search. Uh, you get the bulk renamer, which comes standard with XFCE. I love that program. Uh, get it and mouse pad come included with this. Uh, really, I would suggest Matthew one or the other, rather you know to keep your distro on the smaller side. You know, one of each program probably be a good idea. Or is global? Blah, 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 ha, ha, I can't talk today. Or is global time and orange calendar come loaded with this? Taking a screenshot, you get the terminal emulator and that sort of thing. Pressing F12 on your screen does bring down the Yaquake. Personally, I would have uh, used the XFCE uh, drop down without having the added dependencies. Okay, in games, you just get my favorite, Mines. You get Steam and Sudoku. Sudoku, haven't got a clue. Still haven't figured that one out yet. Graphics, you get Blender. You get the GIMP. You get LibreOffice included with this. The draw program is here. Pinta is a beautiful little easy to use graphics manipulation program for those of you who just can't wrap your head around the GIMP. You get Ristretto Image Viewer, Shotwell, and Simple Scan. In internet, you get Firefox as your default web browser. You get uh, Gmail Notify. You know, there is an add on for a Firefox that will allow you to get notification in your browser, and I use that myself. You get Mumble for uh, your voice chat, Pigeon Internet Messaging, Skype. You also get TeamViewer included with this, so if you need remote assistance, this will help you get that assistance, or you can give it. You get Thunderbird Mail, Transmission for your BitTorrent needs, and XChat IRC and Multimedia. 
you get the mother load here, and let me tell you, he's included everything he could possibly think of. Audacity for managing your audio, Banshee, Bombano DVD, CD player, Cheese, Webcam Booth, Gnome, M Player, uh, Gwenview, uh, Imagination, yada, yada, yada. Uh, pause the video, read the list, there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, and then <laughs> you get the full LibreOffice suite included with this. You also get Abbey Word. Now, why would you want Abbey Word if you have LibreOffice Writer? Sorry. <laughs> Dictionaries included with this. Numeric as well for spreadsheets. So, <laughs> if Numeric doesn't work for you, <laughs> you can uh, use uh, LibreOffice Calc here. And, of course, uh, Orge Global Time, Orge Calendar, yada, yada, yada. All your, uh, s some system tools are in here. The GDB package installer. So, if you download a deb file, you can d you can use GDB to install that without opening up a terminal. Uh, K3B is really great. Uh, HTOP opens up a terminal task manager for you. I like that program a lot. Synaptic comes preloaded with this. The only thing this is really missing is a nice graphical software center. So you may want to uh, install the Lubuntu software center with this and note to Matthew, you may want to consider including that in a future release. This way uh, people will have a graphical installer. Great for the beginners who don't know what software they want to download and install. So you may want to consider adding that. Unlike the Zubuntu remix Matthew Moore created, the Ubuntu version that we're looking at now it doesn't have the fancy little panel, uh, at least not that I could find here by mousing over the edges of the screen, but you do have the Unity sidebar for getting pretty much everything that you want out of this thing. You have a four desktop switcher here. You can manage your system settings. You have the graphical Ubuntu software center here. You have a quick launch to LibreOffice, uh, XChat IRC, Mumble, Pigeon, Thunderbird, Firefox, Nautilus, and of course your Unity bar here. And on the upper right corner of the screen here, uh, you can um, log out and that sort of thing. You got your uh, calendar, a volume control, a battery indicator for those of you on laptops, your email, keyboard settings, internet, and uh, your CPU usage preferences. Very nice indeed. Okay, and of course, because it is based on, both of these are based on the LTS uh, releases, you can, uh, I believe the LTS releases are five years, so that's kind of cool. The Ubuntu Remix comes with just about all of the same software that the Zubuntu Remix has, so I'm really not going to go through the entire list of everything here. But personally, I don't care for the way that Unity lays out uh, all of these things. Sure, you can filter out resorts, results by category, but that's kind of wonky for me uh, to have to do it that way. I still prefer the traditional uh, menu system, but many of you out there really do love Unity. So Matthew wanted to, you know, he thought about you guys and he wanted to have that option available to you. And uh, so all I can say, Matthew, you did a magnificent job on these releases. There will be a link in the description to Matthew Moore's support board at cupoflinux.com where you can ask your support questions. There will also be a link in the description to Matthew Moore's channel on YouTube where you can watch his videos uh, where he goes over these offerings in greater detail. And as a reminder, please consider supporting the show hosts who are bringing you the content you enjoy the most by disabling your ad blockers or shouting some coins. Peace out! Mm -hmm.